For a good read this summer, try these five books. A Gentleman in Moscow by Amor Tals. You know, A Gentleman in Moscow is just so clever. There's a lot of allusions to Russian literature and history. It's an amazing story because it manages to be a little bit of everything. It's kind of a fantastical romance, but it's kind of the real world too. Presidents of War by Michael Beschloss. The public really does not want to go to war. But then, are we willing to defend our honor? It means that having a good president is very important. You better hope that you have some good leaders when you get into war. The Future of Capitalism by Paul Collier. There's a crisis for capitalism. Individualism has been taken too far. He introduces this notion of an ethical family, an ethical company, and an ethical government. We have to be loyal to something. We have to have a group thing where we're not just out for ourselves. Upheaval by Jared Diamond. He took examples of countries that actually had dealt with the problem and come out of it better off. He used kind of a psychological framework that actually works pretty well. He doesn't force you to have a negative or positive point of view. Will it work for what the U.S. is facing in terms of polarization? And just even by raising the question, he at least admits the possibility that we will solve these problems. Nine Pints by Rose George. She mostly wants to educate you about blood and, and what an important and interesting history there has been about it. The history of the blood supply, the different ways of gathering blood, things like leeches, where their ability to suck blood out is advantageous. I'm sure people will find that fascinating. Blood is so magical. It's an interesting thing to know about. So whether you read just one of these or you read them all, I hope you find something you really enjoy.